Hello guys, good morning. Um, I got a question about uh, why do we have uptrends or downtrends in the market? Okay, why, why the stock is not active? Okay, for many days, for many months, for many years. You find the stock that it is just doing nothing. Going up $5, $6, $7, 10 and then going down, going up, going down, doing nothing. Okay? And those, they are not called trends because they are uh, so, so small. So it's not a big deal. But one day, you will see that this stock, which, which has been many months, many years, even 10 years, 20 years, not doing that much. But one day, you will see that there are what you call a green candlestick and they are successive green candlesticks. And each day, the price goes up at the end of the day. It goes up, it goes up, it goes up. And one day or two, sometimes it goes down. And then it goes up and up and up and it can go for days weeks months and sometimes it can go to one year or two okay so why is that why the stock doesn't do nothing and then we have what you call an uptrend or downtrend is the same thing now why do we have these candlesticks each time green candlesticks and you see that there is a trend and when you see on the chart you like the chart okay you like it because you will see that there is too much money because most of the beginners when they see um an uptrend what they see they begin from the bottom bottom of the of the least price it means uh, the list price and they and they go to the highest price and they see how much money if you buy 100 shares or 200 or 500 shares so they like it very much but you ask yourself why do we have these candlesticks and that candlestick that green candlesticks makes what we call an uptrend why it's just because the big guys Let's say, I'm not saying all, they are mutual fans. Let's say a mutual fan. Or a big guy who wants to invest a lot in a company. For example, he studies the companies a lot and he finds this company has a very great potential to grow because he knows the business. Okay? He knows the business, either retail or a pharmacy, a store or whatever. He knows. A lot of information about the company okay like uh, most of the investors so let's say you give you an example a mutual fan a mutual fan he has billions of dollars in his hand he 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 should or he must buy stocks he must uh, he must buy stocks or bonds or other things but he must buy because he can't leave the money into the account without buying stocks. He should. This is his job. Now, here is the thing. He can't buy 1 million or 2 million or 3 million in the same stock in one day because you will, have, you will see a big spike from $10. It can go to $100 in one day. So this is ridiculous. He doesn't want to show his hands. Because, you know, the floor traders, when they see that there is a big order coming, okay, to the exchange, what they do? They follow this. If they're going up, they go with it. So they buy too much. But, you know, at the, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, those, those uh, floor traders, most of them and most day traders they will sell at the end of the day so they will not stay to the next day okay 
So that's why you see the price goes down at the end of the day. Now, a mutual fund buys today thousands of shares. So that's why you see the candlestick, it goes up good. You see it. But he doesn't want to make it so, so big to attract day traders. He doesn't want. Okay? Because if, uh, if they know him, the day traders, they will stay each day pushing the price up and then down. And it becomes volatile. Now, these mutual fans, they don't want trouble in the market. And they don't, uh, they don't, they don't want that anybody knows about them. Okay? This is how, how the big guys buys. Okay? So they don't show their hands because suppose that in the market, uh, in the news, you say, oh, today that guy begins to buy, a mutual fund begins to buy a stock, a given stock. What will happen in the market? Because the people, the beginners and the public, uh, what do I say the public? It means almost all the people. They like sure things. They like someone to tell them that this stock will go up and they buy it in order to make a profit. They don't like to lose money. And in the market, it doesn't work like this. It doesn't work like uh, you have a sure thing. There is no sure thing. Okay? So if you, you try all your life to have a sure thing in the market, you can't. And you just waste your time. Because the guys who make the a stock market 200 years ago, 300 years ago, they make it with a plan of math, okay? That you always, if you don't know how to trade, you will lose. That's it, okay? It's like a lottery. Almost all the, you, they, uh, they go to lot, they lose. Why? Because of the math, okay? They give you a formula that you have no chance. You have only one chance after, out of millions of chances to win. That's why you can't win. That's why... You, People who, uh, who go to gamble, almost all, they lose their money, okay? So, we go back to our, tra to our trend. You will see each day a green candlestick going up for sometimes three days, four days, five days, six days, depending, depending on, uh, uh, on the traders they follow this, uh, this trend. And then... One day or two, you see that there is a drop and you see a red candlestick, one or two or three. Now, why is that? This is because of the swing traders. Some swing traders, they don't, they don't stay too long. They just buy for today, stay two days, three days with a big position. They have some money, which is too much money, and then they exit the trade after the third year. They, they do a plan, okay? They don't want to stay that much. So this is their plan, okay? Anyone has his plan and... Uh, and then, since the other guy who is a mutual fan, is he still buying? That's why you see what... This one or two or three red candlestick is called small correction. What does it mean small correction? It means uh, when the stock goes for many days, it go down. Why it go down? Because some people are selling, but not the mutual fund. The mutual fund is still buying. So after a few days, the stock will go up again, and go up again, go up again, and then we have two or three, day, three days that are red candlestick, and then it go. this is what we call the trend. And the trend can have many days until this guy who is a mutual fund finishes all his money on this stock for example uh let's say a mutual fund wants to buy the amount of 500 million dollars in this stock okay he will need many weeks or many months to buy because he will not buy all on the same time he can't because it will it will create a trouble in the market Okay, and he doesn't want to show his hands. He doesn't want you and I and everyone else to make money. Okay, because if we know, for example, if I know that tomorrow this stock 
will go up. What should I do? I buy today with a huge uh, um, shares, okay? Because it is a sure thing. But the problem, or the problem in the market, this information is secret information. You will never find it online. Even if you ask, you can get it. Even if you pay for it, you don't get it, okay? Because it is something hidden, hidden from the public, okay? Now, this is why there is an uptrend. Now, you ask again, and what about the downtrend? Now, downtrend is the opposite, okay? What does it mean? It means that this mutual fund, he bought a stock two years ago or three years ago. Let's say he bought it at $10. Now, this stock is $50, $70, $80, or $100. For him, it's too much money to leave in the market, so he wants to get his profit. So what does he do? When he wants to begin to sell, okay, he will sell some shares, depending on the market, and then you will see that the stock has what you call, um, has what you call, um, red candlestick, two days, three days, four days, and then you will see that you have one or two or three uh, green candlestick up. Now, why we have this up? Because the stock is going down. So why do we have this two or three or one green candlestick which is going up? We have this because some people who follow a mutual fund, like sh short sellers, mostly they are floor traders. What they see, when they see a stock is going down, they automatically they short it. What does it mean they short it? It means they sell other people's shares. That's why they the, 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 the price is going down. Uh, down so fast and when you when you see like a green candlestick one or two or three those guys who are uh, like uh, floor traders they try to cover their loss uh, to cover their shares to give it back to take their profit each day they do it each day they do it now most of the time this is a trick that they tell you uh, you can uh, check it. Whenever you find online that they speak about mutual funds that are uh, uh, like uh, uh, stocks that uh, that have done good in six months or one year, understand they advertise because there is someone who is selling. Even the mutual fund, they can they can uh, pay money to some people, analysts to say to say buy this stock. Now, when you, you are buying, the mutual fund is selling because he needs the price to be static. He doesn't want the price to go down so quick because he wants to make more the profit that he planned. Because, you know, when he sells each day, each day, each day, the price goes down. So he will not get the same price as, last, as, as yesterday or the other day. So he is losing uh, money from his profit. So that's why online you find a lot of TV channels, uh, show, TV shows. You find uh, uh, websites, very big websites that deal with stock market. They advertise for these stocks. Okay? So when you are buying, somebody else is big, is selling. And who will win? Do you think that you win over him? No. That's why you will see what we call a downtrend and... The stock, let's say it's 100, it goes few days to 95, and then it goes to one day or two, you find it 97, you think that the stock will go up again, and then from 95 it goes to 90, to 85, and then it goes a little bit, one or day or two, up, and then it goes to 70, 60, 50, and if you stay with it, the mutual fund will, buy, will sell all his shares, and then when he shares all his shares, he stops. 
but he will never buy it again. This is the problem when I told you, you should always put a stop loss. Because when these guys are selling and there is a short sellers, day traders, short sellers, they hit the stock. It's like a stock that it is sick. Okay? It's like a stock that it, ha that it has cancer. Or it has a, a very strong disease, a virus. So this stock will shrink, will go down, down, down. And you, you think that maybe you buy more, you think that it's going up. But since the, the big guys are selling, who will buy to make the stock go up again? Who do you think? No one. Okay? No one will buy after, after mutual fund. It's just, I don't say, it's just beginners who think that the stock is going down. It can go up again and they make uh, more money because they are clever. Okay, when they buy, the stock goes down or stays in the same position for six months, one year, two years, three years, and you will never get any money because you lost too much money. And that's it. This is the game of stock market. Okay, if you stay too long and the market is taking your money, okay, you will have what you call big losses. Now, hope. Uh, hope I have explained very well uh, why do we have um, this uptrends and why do we have this downtrends? They are the same. It means um, when mutual fund is buying, this is called an uptrend. When a mutual fund is selling, it's called a downtrend. It's not only a mutual fund. Mutual fund, I just give you an example because we have insurance companies, they buy and they sell, we have pension plans. Uh, we have the 401k, this, uh, um, uh, wh where, you, where you have your money. You have a lot of mutual funds. They buy and they sell. Uh, you have banks. You have big, big investors. Some people who have 1 billion, 2 billion. They are very big investors. And they move their money in the market. Uh, all these guys who are big, they move. They manipulate the market as they like. Okay? So... Hope you understand and you enjoy the video. If you have questions, please comment, thumb it up or subscribe if you don't. And if you need like a special attention or you need uh, 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 something from me, just you see the, um, um, the uh, email in, in the description below. Okay, just see the email and send me an email and I will answer you in due time. Thank you very much and have a nice day.